I've been very busy staging this upstairs area. I'm absolutely exhausted. Let me check the time. It's half past seven. I've been working on painting and just stuff around the house in probably half past seven this morning. But I've turned this area into like a little office area. I'll probably leave the mirror here because there's not really anywhere else to put it. And move this into one of the bedrooms. I've just got loads of things to put away. The reason why I'm staging this room is because it's one of the ones that can be staged and we're having photographs taken on Monday to advertise. Kyle's just in our room painting. I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with how I've styled so far. Just ignore all the things that need to like be put away but here's my desk I've just tried to keep it a bit more minimal and I've actually had to unpack a few things from my office that I already had packed because I want the photos to look nice when we advertise the house for rent I'm not sure if the shelf is my favorite or the drawers quite like them too if we just <laughs> A dirty dirty cover so the plan is we've obviously got this room staged I just thought it would be better than having this as an office and then people won't think of it as an office they'll think of it as a bedroom so this will all come out there's not too much left in here here's the boxes I unpacked earlier I don't even know if this room will be photographed but it'll be tidy I have completely painted the toilet and the main bathroom now. This is the room we're currently sleeping in and I'm not gonna lie, I am really loving the color combo of the drawers, the dark wall and our bedding. I accidentally discovered that they go together. I think I'm gonna take this rug out of here. Not 100% sure yet. It does go really well, like the dark gray does go really well with the wall, so maybe, maybe not. And then in here, this room won't be staged but we still have the furniture so I actually bought some new sheets yesterday from Pillow Talk and these will be the spare ones for mine and Kyle's bed. It's like a beige and white stripe. I feel like maybe it just needs, there's just something missing. I think it just needs like a throw and a couple of throw cushions but these colors do go really nicely with this bed. So this bed and the two bedside tables will be put into the master bedroom, which is currently being painted. This room will be empty as well. I'll show more of staging the house. I just look and feel absolutely disgusting. So yeah, that's one, two, three areas. And then downstairs, the kitchen dining and living areas will be staged as well and then any other additional photos they want to take hopefully it will just be of nice tidy empty areas kyle's going to a wedding tomorrow as well so while he's there i'll be styling the master bedroom i think but this is a really nice shirt and pants that he got today they're actually like jeans really like those it's smart casual so that will be perfect i'll just show this wall because kyle's painting but we just need to cut in one more time in here which is definitely not happening until tomorrow now but it's all white and then the drawers in the middle of the room that's it so far and we've ordered uber eats because we're exhausted i think you can go there i feel like i'm bad at showing my process of trying to stage the house but we finished painting this afternoon Kyle's actually gone to a wedding tonight so I am on my own and I'm just about to start painting in here I've actually just cleaned the roof over in this corner perhaps the exhaust fan should have been a little bit closer to the shower because the roof gets mouldy so I've given that a good clean with bleach and there was paint missing in the corner so I've just put some filler there. I'm going to take all the fixtures 
off the wall in a minute and just prep the bathroom for painting. But I'll show you what I've done so far. There's definitely some things missing. I just feel like I need a nice texture on the bed. I'll probably go for like a creamy color because where is it? There is stuff literally just thrown everywhere at the moment as you'll see and today's saturday we have until monday 4 p.m to have everything done so this is kind of a creamy off-white color and i just threw it on the bed to see if that's the sort of color that will go in here it definitely is it took me forever to try and make the bed as well I decided to put the stripy pillows in front so I think they just look a bit nicer. Having the pink in front with this solid pink is just a little bit too much. So don't necessarily hate that but I feel like I can get one longer pillow there and this one does go pretty well on my little desk chair. Honestly, we just have not stopped today. We went to breakfast with Kyle's Nana and Pop, which, which was really nice this morning. And Kyle's Nana said on Tuesday and Wednesday night, we can come up to their house for dinner because basically everything here is going to be packed by then. The light coming in through the blinds in the afternoon in this room is my absolute favorite, just by the way. I don't want to put too much on the bedside tables. I want to get some like dried flowers for in there because so I think that will look really cool and I'm just going to I think I'll just get a like a vase of flowers here that's going to stay like that just put a couple books in the bottom there I'm thinking like a chunky creamy colored throw on here it's so annoying because I have that off-white throw from Kmart it's just at the Toowoomba house already, but that would have been perfect on this bed. I really like this bed in this room and we don't need any artwork there because the bed really just frames the wall. Not that we had any anyway. And I've put this seat here. Probably will get a different cushion or at least cushion cover for that. And then like, I don't know, maybe not another throw. I feel like I don't want to have too many. I need to do something with the wardrobe. We've, all we've done is paint and put the drawers back in. I'm in two minds about whether to take the drawers now. Maybe we should just attach them to the wall. Reason being, um, Kyle picked, I think this one, no, that one. Picked it up by the top and it like popped out and a couple of the nails came out as well so I am slightly worried that it'll just break when we're trying to transport it. We kind of do need all that drawer space but at the same time I don't know if it's going to be worth taking them and having to replace them. They fit so nicely in this wardrobe. I think I'll just find a couple of our nicer clothing pieces to hang in here. Maybe put my bag, a few pairs of shoes and leave it at that. But I'm definitely going to set this as the female side <laughs> because he is bigger. Kyle always had this side because he has way more clothes than I do, but just for staging. I know some people probably think I'm a little bit crazy putting in all this effort just for a rental, but for this price range, I feel like the type of people that would be renting this house would expect it to be presented nicely. And also, I think just seeing it styled gives people good ideas and they can kind of, if they can't picture it in their mind visually, they can see how the room could be set up. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I'm a bit delirious. I haven't put any curtains up in this room. I don't think I will just it's just so awkward and there's blinds but I'm going to actually buy cheap curtains and replace all our Ikea linen ones because they're not cheap I'm just gonna get some cheap like tab top ones when we spoke to the real estate agent she thought it was best to leave the curtain rods obviously she said it was our choice but it does make sense to leave them um she just said it would avoid any future maintenance and then tenants have the option if they would like to have them so yeah i might just buy some cheap tab top 
white curtains anyway because this room really needs it to soften this window and make it look nice anyway diesel's been so unsettled he went for a w-a-l-k today but he just wants us to go and sit downstairs with him and keep him company unfortunately there's no time for that also guess what we are going to paint i think i have come up with a solution so i was really worried about like trying to climb a ladder to get all the way up there it's two stories high right above the stairs but actually let me show you something i found this contraption and it screws into that hole in the bottom of the paintbrush which is really cool i never knew what that hole was for so there you go this screws into it and this is the extension pole um, tool clamp thing for the paintbrush. And then on the end, oh, we didn't actually check that this fits. That's come off of there. Okay, that's great. Diesel's right up in my grill. Excuse me. <laughs> but it says it fits most threads. This will probably be the one thread it doesn't fit. Just put you there for a second. Let's see. We got a new um, extension pole. This is a telescoping one. It goes up to three meters long. Okay, phew. It would have been smart to check that in the shop, but as you can see, it does fit. So then the brush goes on there and you reach up to the top with the pole. Diesel, you're okay. I know you don't like change, but we have no time and we have to get everything finished. So I know. I'll come and sit with you later. At least need to get one coat on the ensuite. Um... Yeah, we finished the master bedroom. That took like three days to paint. It's huge. So we've got the rest of today, tomorrow, and then Monday until 4 p.m. to have everything done. And Kyle still needs to mow and get the yard ready. And I also want to put some oil or some kind of varnish. I'm not sure what's safe for a veggie garden. I need to research that tonight um, and just redo the timber on there because whatever was on there it's all come off and it just is looking the timber's looking a bit gray and weathered so i'd like to make that look nice and rip the tomato plant out because we don't know how long the garden bed will be sitting there before a tenant comes and it is taking over nearly the whole thing now so i think we'll take that out but yeah what was i actually doing <laughs> um so we've we've got this stairway to paint and then after the ensuite the ensuite is the last room technically up here then we've got the stairway and then we've got the downstairs toilet and laundry that's it everything else is painted but i do have to go around and patch holes like this as well i think it's only downstairs so this is where the shoe cabinet was and I've got a few wall plugs to get out of the wall but other than that I'm pretty happy to report that like it'll be pretty it'll be easy to tidy upstairs and I think all we're going to do is everything that isn't like staying to stage the room we're just going to throw it down in that front room for now that room is not getting photographed I will make sure of it it's just full of boxes anyway yeah so I'll I'll have to tidy this room like the second bedroom and yeah I just think I need to like style the wardrobe as I was saying and maybe just like a vase of flowers and a perfume or something on my little dressing table desk situation over there excuse the uber eats bag we had subway for lunch except we were really busy so we got it delivered i think i'm quite happy with that i'm definitely happy with the sheets i actually went to pillow talk and got these and 
I was wanting the colors the other way around. So initially I wanted um, beige and white striped Duna cover set and then this dusky rose pink color for the sheets. But they didn't have it, but they had this combination. So I'm gonna make that work. I don't know whether to get like pinky colored flowers. I think I'll probably end up getting white ones. To be honest, you can't go wrong with white. And they can pretty much go in any room. And look at Sideshow Bob chilling over there. I think he looks good in here. I'm kind of, I don't know, not mad at myself, but I'm like, oh, it would have been nice having this as our bed. I love our bed though. So I don't know. Just in this room, for this room, this bed is actually perfect. I feel like in our new house, our West Elm bed is perfect for there, but I don't know. It's so hard to decide. I think for now, anyway, we'll definitely be keeping this as a spare. I'm not sure about the floor rug situation. I'm thinking about taking this one out of here, which is so painful to do because the like feet thingies are an L shape and they're not actually attached to the bed. It sits on them um, and you have to like take the mattress and everything off. This room is such a mess. We just threw our clothes that we wore to breakfast this morning on the bed. I haven't even made it. I feel like who bothers to make their bed when you're so busy. But that is enough rambling on for right now. I need to get back to work. I've still got to style the main bathroom. I assume they would want to take photos of that. Um, actually, I think I might bring this. I might bring this into the master bedroom too. I'm gonna do that now. So I've brought it in here. It's perfect for this wall, but it does need hanging. It just doesn't look quite right on the floor. I guess it does from a distance, but ideally you would hang this on the wall because it'll just cut your head off. But do I really want to put holes in a brand new painted wall? Maybe not. I don't know. I guess it could sit there and then if they want to use it in the photos, they can. I don't know, man. There's not really anywhere else to put it that I can think of unless I just put it in the front room and forget about it. Um, I'll see what Kyle thinks. All right, here's something else I've tried. This kind of setup. I think I prefer it, but then maybe a bunch of flowers can't go here now because that's like a big flower. Oh, I don't know. It's so frustrating because my small mirror that I normally have on there is also in Toowoomba. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I think I prefer this. I might move it over a tiny bit to cover the PowerPoint. Also it would make for a good photo, like getting the reflection of this side table in. I'm just like leaving a trail of destruction everywhere I go. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. I We need to finish painting tomorrow. There's so much to do. I really want to get a coat on the bathroom tonight. I just put these few little things here. Some kind of tray. Again, my little rectangular marble one would have been perfect. That is in Toowoomba. Um, but that could look good here. I'm thinking about whether I should use command hooks and put this actually on the wall. And use a couple of the prints from downstairs. From the hallway maybe. Let me move this over. Honestly... I probably am just overthinking every single thing, but I feel like you don't want this too far over, right? Like, I wouldn't want to be lying in bed and see myself, which you can't, so that's okay there. Alright. I might just leave that. Leave this for now, like this. I just really like that reflection in the mirror. I think that's cool. This photographer guy, <laughs> he better take nice photos because I feel like I could do it myself. But we are really happy with the property manager that we have gone with. I'm just gonna trust her. Hello everybody. Today is Monday and I thought I would give you a bit of a tour around the house seeing that it is completely staged now. We had the photographer booked in for four o'clock and of course, it just had to be our luck that 
a severe thunderstorm started like right before he turned up but it's okay i know he can make it work and i feel like the house is staged nicely enough that he'll be able, he would have been able to get really good photos i'm not sure how much of this tour i've actually already filmed so i'm just starting again because my memory card was full but i have a second one and i kept it in my bag so i would be able to find it so i'll just start in the master bedroom and i'll show you everywhere except for the back um table and patio area because i had to bring that inside it was way too windy and the rain was just like blowing all over it i was just worried that my things were going to get broken but i can show you what i did put out there on the table anyway here's the ensuite it's all painted and I just put my little like orange plant there and an Aesop face mask. I did get towels for the towel rail, but they just didn't look right on there. So I decided to leave them. And there we go. I gave the shower like the quickest clean of its life. Luckily, it looks better on camera than it does in real life. <laughs> Here is the wardrobe. So I've styled this as the female side because it's actually a bit bigger it's like his and hers um yeah i just put some of my shoes a couple of books this christian dior one is actually in kmart at the moment and i think it was only 25 dollars. i feel like that's cheap for that kind of book so yeah i just thought i wanted to style it for the type of person that we would like to be in here i did hide like the labels of those shoes there because they were only ten dollars from kmart but who's gonna know just everyone that watches this <laughs> i did kyle's side as well just with like a few pairs of his shoes and some clothes and then if we come around this side we've got this bedside table the bed i put that return seat over there that's the only cushion I had. Probably wouldn't have chosen it otherwise. Mirror here and then just a little setup at the desk dressing table thing. Here's Diesel. He's very stressed because of the thunder at the moment. He's been a good boy though. You're a good boy, Diesel. Okay. Here's the room we are sleeping in at the moment. I tell you what, this throw blanket tricky to style but i think i got there i just kind of draped it over the bed um it's really soft and warm and fluffy but it actually shed all over the doona cover set in the other bedroom so i think it's fine on the linen one so maybe we'll just only put it on the linen i don't know i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit annoyed that the bed isn't scented but i just couldn't because it's too much trouble to push it it's just sitting on these little like l-shaped feet and it would probably come off and be just a whole situation we didn't have time so this is what we have but if you take a photo from an angle like that you can't really tell and then the wardrobe there's stuff in the wardrobe but i kind of left it like that in case he wanted a photo with like just those wooden hangers in it but everything's like shoved in behind that wall <laughs> and i think that turned out pretty good anyway and then diesel's bed wasn't in here i brought that inside out of the rain we just had it sitting on the back veranda i left that floor mat there even though it is too big because again moving the bed <laughs> is not a fun task so we've got the mirror here and then my desk from my office and shelf from my office as well and then over this side the drawers i just i changed it a little bit and i put the record player downstairs which you'll see and it actually looks really good so for now we have a plant and a book but i quite like it i think it's it's all right it'll do this bedroom is empty but again everything is shoved in the wardrobe just the toilet which kyle's going to fix the toilet seat this one is empty as well. There's a couple little plant pots I accidentally left on that shelf. 
that's all right. And then, I don't know, hopefully the photographer guy might have thought to take these out. I should have, because now holding the camera here, it's like, they're grubby. But he did put that down there, which is fine. I think it's actually better down there. I just had it sitting up here on the bench. So there we go, that's that anyway. So I think that's all of upstairs. I haven't brushed my hair today. I, I need to wash it. I just didn't have time to wash it before the real estate agent and the photographer came. Um, this is all painted. Kyle's spent a lot of time trying to do the best that he could. I actually, I think I showed the extension tool thing. I couldn't use it. It was too hard for me, but yeah. Kyle, I think considering how hard it is to use, he did a really, really good job. So we've only got two rooms in the house left to paint, which I'll show you. I did kind of style the laundry. I don't even know if he would have taken any photos of it, but just got the downstairs toilet. I just sat the dirty washing basket on there. But we have that. And then I did just put a few little things in here. Diesel's following me everywhere because he's very upset about the storm. We've just basically got all our shoes thrown here. I just said to them when they walked in, this is not an indication of what the rest of the house is like. Because she asked me, she was like, oh, did you get the house stage? And I was like, yes, I did. I'm exhausted. I've got, I think I've got like mascara under my eyes. Maybe that's just... I think that's just bags. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully he didn't take a photo of the hallway. <clears throat> oh, Kyle put the blanket on the couch for the dog, but just imagine that wasn't there. And my water bottle wasn't there. I ended up putting the blanket basket here. Moved this plant to this side. And I just, this is all that was on the coffee table, just these three, which if I had have had time, I would have gone out and got a few little dried flower stems, but I can do that in our new place. So the couch was only styled with the cushions. And then here is the dining area, which I really love. These flowers in the middle of the dining table here. Oh my goodness they were so compacted together in like the wrapper thing they were in they actually were all like going moldy so i've picked out as many pieces as i could that had mold and i also added some of the baby's breath and i left my bunny tails in there so that's what i came up with but i think it looks okay. I don't know. I like the pinky kind of colors anyway. And then over here, I've got some dried cherry blossom branches. That's quite tricky to say, especially with braces. And oh, I really wish I did take the uh, barcode label off of the bottom of the vase. I've, I've got a real habit of leaving labels on things. I need to stop. I actually yesterday took the label off the back of this basket because you could see it in the reflection in the mirror. But this is what it looks like. I like the arch mirror way more down here. And also I really like the record player on here. I really want to get a, what is it? A Bluetooth speaker so that records can play um, even louder. You can't play them too loud on that tiny little record player but I think it looks cute and I've just got which vinyl have I got Amy shark just sitting on there as well it's quite dusty even though it's been in its cover we had like curtain ring thingies up there that clip onto the curtains but I took them off and it looks much better without I'll show you the sky because it's it's <laughs> black here we go, we've got like torrential downpours happening. Ah, oh, look. There we go. 
it's just oh it's freezing out here I don't think you can see but it is pouring down I've just got some plants sitting there but I had diesels bowls and stuff before and I had a tablecloth oh the table looked so good how I had it set up and Kyle even said to me he was like oh it, it's making me want to like have a summer barbecue outdoors it was sunny this morning but that's the table anyway and then on there I had this carafe I just had it like in here and I had some glasses sitting there it got so windy I was so scared they were gonna like blow away and smash so this was at one end of the table I had this jute runner I really like this on the table with this tablecloth and these are from Kmart so they weren't very expensive but they looked so nice and then <laughs> down the other end oh no my baby's breath this one has uh snapped probably in the wind but these were down the other end and look what they're in this is actually a wine cooler that I'm pretty sure I originally got from Aldi and it's meant to be like marble but it's like a G marble I just put a tiny bit of water in because I kind of want to dry these out it's like something I want to do I've just got look all the dish things are just like thrown in the sink there hiding and I was looking in one of my magazines I think it's like home and garden or something and nearly every like photo had a book open so I was like okay I had to find a book that I was not using like for styling but it's this one Emily Henderson styled and there's loads of mid-century things so that's why I like it and I just kind of had it on an angle like that and then that's all I have over here which I actually really like and obviously the details were all hidden but look at this vase too it's like one of those is it an infinity vase I love the shape of it and it's like it's got ridges as well I can't remember how much this was but it was from Big W and it was uh, 15 or 20 dollars I think I'm I'm not 100% sure it was around there but I absolutely love it and I think I'm going to put it in the kitchen in our new house and then I just left that there like that that was all and I haven't packed up the pantry because I didn't know if he wanted to, if he wanted to take a photo in there or not hopefully he didn't bother taking a photo of this shelf because they're coming down I just don't want a tenant to have to remove this one whenever they want to get a fridge in and out so yeah oh, I guess it doesn't matter but also these books would be standing up if it was going to be in a photo but yeah that's it you guys that's pretty much the tour because oh I've just got a towel down here because I was wiping up where Diesel drooled his water everywhere. But yeah, that's it. That is the, I guess, finished house tour. We just have to paint the downstairs toilet and laundry. We got everything else done that I wanted to. There were a couple of little things here and there that I wanted to do, like I wanted some little jute uh floor rugs in the bathrooms which i think would have looked good but at the end of the day it's only a very minor detail but yeah i said to kyle i felt i don't know if disappointed is the right word i guess in a way i felt a little bit disappointed i guess in myself that the house looks like this now when we're leaving i think it was just a case of have to like I had four days to get everything done and I've been working from like 6 a.m. 7 a.m. until I think the latest was when Kyle went to the wedding on Saturday and I kept working until about half past nine at night but we got it done and I'm I'm definitely not disappointed in the effort that I've put in it's just more like oh I wish we could enjoy this 
but but it's okay because I've given myself some good ideas for what I want to do at our next house and I really think it was worth staging the house this way for advertising and hopefully we'll get to see the photos tomorrow which I'm really really excited about and yes I know it, it is only for renting it is not for sale if it was to sell the house I would have done more than what I did definitely but anyway my battery is flashing red so I think I'm going to end this vlog here I really don't know what I have filmed I I haven't done anything apart from working on the house so right up until half past three and the photographer came at four so yeah it's been like that for the past week and everything hurts but I feel really happy that that I was able to do what I did and I kind of didn't think I didn't know I could do that as well so I think it's just amazing to see what we can actually do when we have to and the real estate agent said it looks like a show home she said it was beautiful so I feel very happy about that too and hear Diesel rolling around in the lounge no can't see him okay I really have to end this because I don't want the camera to cut out but thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already because next up i'm going to be moving into my new house with kyle and diesel and just unpacking everything there and styling and yeah just making it into a really nice place to live so i'm really looking forward to that and i hope that you are too all right diesel say goodbye everybody <laughs> Okay, I need to go give him attention because the rain just started pouring down again. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye.